Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Duel Links video. And in this one, because I'm still working on some decks to show off with the character I am now working on, which is Taya, um, I've yet to find like a really solid deck that I can really show off with Taya to make, you know, her abilities, um, create, like show off a deck with Taya that actually makes it worth it to run Taya over other characters, basically, is what I'm saying. So, and there were a couple, I just don't have the full, complete decks yet. So what I want to do instead, while I'm doing that, is to show off some farming decks that I've discovered. And what do I mean by farming decks, a lot of you probably already know, but just in case you don't, and for anyone who's new, farming decks are decks that you can use against level 40 duelists at the gate to achieve over 10,000 damage against them and get a really bonus duel score and what that does it, it helps you get their cards easier because if you're at level 40 it limits um, the rewards you get it makes them better quality on average and the higher the duel score the more rewards you get so more likely you'll be able to get these decent cards and so the first thing I'm going to the first one I'm going to show is perhaps the easiest one to make um, super easy it is the Cerberus farm deck um, all you pretty much need <coughs> in my opinion is Cerberus stop defense super easy to get in the early game same with Cerberus it's a super rare with the card trader I believe easy to get just one time done you only need one and you run sorcery conduit Again, you can get this very early on when you're playing. If you picked um, Yami Yugi, obviously, you get it really early on, I'm pretty sure, just by your level up. I could check that out. And yeah, that and stop defense for the final turn. Bring something in attack position, attack over it, you're good to go. Everything else, you don't technically need. But there are then things, and then you run, yeah, so you run those two cards and you run 18 other spells. Does it really matter what they are? Yes and no. Sometimes you need to run attack boosting things uh, to get you over the line. It's why I'm running double Ryoku because I have them. But the Cerberus farm deck is very flexible in that you can run a large variety of spells and still get yourself over the line. There are some spells that are going to be more impactful than others, but you can still just run 18 spells and get yourself there, I think. So, specifically because I tend to use this when battling Taya at level 40, um, what I've got is Twister. I want Twister to take out the Solemn Wishes because on rare occasions, if they have double Solemn Wishes and they open up with the double Solemn Wishes early enough, it doesn't matter by the end of the duel if you can deal 10k damage because they have more than 10k life points and you'll still lose that duel. Um, so you need the Twisters to take out the Solemn Wishes, so you can actually beat them by the end of it. Um, and I'm running Dispel because everything other than a Solemn Wish that they're going to set is going to be a spell. It's like Symbols of Friendship or something, or the Equip spell, that sometimes they just set it. And so if I know if they set it, it's going to be a spell. It's got a one Dispel. I've got two of these. Um, just so again, putting in generic, uh... Um, spells it doesn't matter too much I would say you do want card draw some kind of card draw in the deck because it is difficult sometimes to keep up with them because level 40 Taya has cards from the sky and skull angles um, that they can use to thin their deck and if they have less cards in the deck than you do you might not be able to play all your spells and therefore won't get 10k damage on your Cerberus there's potential, so you need to try and... It's obviously a chance that you won't draw into these, and that kind of sucks. But you need to give yourself the best chance. Uh, Fair Media Crush. Could probably swap this out for anything. It doesn't really matter. Um, there might be something more impactful, but I just have a spell. I like to use spells I can just use in almost any situation. I can always use this. I can always use... Well, I can't always use Grave Digger Ghoul, but as long as they have something in the graveyard, I can use it. And Taya tends to tribute off a lot. 
I can always use, you can always use any um, effect damage things for spells, put any of them that you have in a deck and it'll work. Any equips that you have, it probably makes a little bit more sense to have an equip that boosts attack. Um, so I'm actually going to change that right now. You like, and as soon as you have that on the field, that's what you can do. You just go like equip spells. You don't want to clog up your backline with too many equips, or you won't be able to play the rest of your spells because you've only got three slots to put things through. Um, what have I got on attack? Let's go like rarity, gravity axe, right? Gravity axe is good. Just ditch that instead, doesn't really matter again. And so we've got a couple of quips. Anything else I want to mention? Econs, just a skill, um, in case you don't know what this does. Details. Can be used each time your life points decrease by a thousand. During your draw phase, instead of conducting a normal draw, draw a random spellcaster type monster. This is a spellcaster. It's also a light monster. It's also low level. So there were three kind of, I think there's only three skills. It helps you draw this when you take a thousand life points. So you can use this deck with multiple characters because it works with multiple skills. So I'm going to get in there. Yeah, I'll save that. I'm going to get in there and show you a farm against Taya. And sort of how you want to play it. And you need to be kind of uh, careful how you click spamming. Uh, because... Once you take that thousand damage, you want to be able to make sure you just click the activate skill. You don't want to button mash. Make sure you don't button mash. And hopefully we'll get something good here. I don't know. Uh, it gives you a better chance, but doesn't always work. So what's funny is I've actually opened up with the Cerberus without needing to use my skill. So that's kind of funny. You want to use all of your things that you have available to use because it's important to get your Cerberus up high early so they don't try and summon and use a bunch of equips and things to get over your monster and they have an early solemn wishes that's a bit unfortunate but I do have sh a shard of greed um, so even if you use cards from the sky or anything like that, uh, it's more likely I'll be able to keep up with you now. This will also help me cycle fast into my Twisters and my other Shard of Greed. We can chill here for now. One Solemn Wish early on is manageable. It's when they have two on the board where you really want to start being a bit concerned that they're gonna have more life points than you can deal with at the end. So we're both just chilling. Again, that's kind of what you do. You just chill. Um, you wanna work through, gain life, gain attack on your Cerberus. Um, wait till you, you've got a few cards in your deck. Preferably just go down to the last card because that'll let you use max number of spells that you have in your deck. And uh, yeah, I could fast forward here, but you know, we can just keep it going, just in case anything does happen. So right now, he hasn't contributed at all, but he can sometimes. The Ruryokus are pretty important, um, because when you stop defense, it lets you attack over. I think I'm safe to play a Gravity Axe, because I've got two equips in the deck, these are both my equips. I need to keep this open to funnel all the other spells through. So that should be good. So I know that because he's not activating these, these are spells. So when I draw a D spell, uh, it doesn't matter what one I target. Because, you know, if there were traps, he would have activated them. This is Silver Bow and Arrow. Just keep playing. I've only got six cards left. Gravedigger Ghoul, again. He hasn't yet got that. What I can do in this situation, because he hasn't got any in his graveyard, I could use stop defense to find the best target. These are probably Skalingle, no? 
So ideally you want to attack over with Skalingle because it's got the lowest attack out of anything else in his deck. But the tricky thing could be that he's going to draw a card if I do flip it up face up for him. Okay, so we know that the lowest attack thing on the board will be Shining Friendship. We can Ryuyoku his Dunames and one Friendship and then attack over that Friendship. We get a Twister. Get rid of a Solemn Wish. We've got three cards. I will be able to draw all the cards in my deck. It doesn't look like he's going to draw anything else this duel. Is he going to Tribute? I think he Tributed. Well, at this point he's um, putting cards from his hand into the graveyard, so we can use our ghouls now. We're definitely going to get over 10k. We're not going to have any problems in this one. No problems here at all. So he's going to draw his last card, then I'm going to draw my last. So on my next turn after this one, we'll be going in. Okay, and it's Shard Agreed, and that's fine. We'll play that last. So what I do here, I'm going to use my Econs first. I'll probably just um, flip this face up, or in attack position, and put it in defense, just for the sake of using them. We get the prox. I want to use Ryuyoku on both of those. Dudunames. You halve their monster, and then you click on yours to gain the attack. And then you can do it on this. That one, correct. And then you just play this for the extra 500. You're well over 10k damage at this point. Attack over the lowest. That's actually over 1200. And that is how you OTK at the end. And for this, let's have a look. I've obviously got max level, that's not relevant. Comeback victory is at 2500. Cards on the brink, 500. Prismatic, 200. Glossy, 200. Over the 10k damage, 3,000. We didn't get anything decent, unfortunately. Um, I feel like with some other ones, I played a Prismatica Glossy. Um, there's going to be other ways of making this probably closer to 7,000. Um, but even 6,000 is decent, a decent score. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get much luck, but that's fine. Obviously, now you know how the deck works. Play all your spells, wait till the end, go in with your your only as I say, I had multiple and I also have one econs, but you only technically need maybe like one econ or one stop defense to get over one of their monsters. And then uh, go in, in that way. And there's other things you could run to lower its attack if you really needed to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll be doing more of these decks because I have a lot of decks. Uh, because there's plenty of farming methods in the game basically and I want to show them all off for you I'll see you in the next farming video if that's what's interesting to you. Peace